this is um, a longer video this time for for this uh, saw wet owl. So obviously we have different speed modes during the video here, and uh, I'm going to slow down the areas that uh, we have some notes to to take and uh, some uh, tips and tricks to talk about. Still, this is one of the older videos that uh, when I made this, it was for the purpose of time lapse and not uh, not any voiceover. So. Here we go. Well, I'm gonna let you watch, and um, as soon as uh, we need to talk about something, I'll chime in again. Right now we're uh, uh, cutting down, the, um, cutting and carving the neck. And the first thing I want to mention and discuss here with you guys is about to uh, how to connect these foam necks to the casted skull. A lot of people think that it's not possible or it's not easy uh, to uh, glue the neck, the foam neck to the cast of the skull. I'm going to explain how you're going to do it. So when you're pushing the wire, neck wire through the neck, uh, make sure that it's going through the right spot from the exit and entrance of the neck exactly where you want it to. So once you mark down the drill area on your casted head with a little hand drill, you make two holes. The first hole that is going to be um, the main that uh, where the neck is going to attach. Make sure that your hole goes right through the skull and from top of the skull make another half hole or half the length of the depth of the skull. Um, make a half hole in there so you can basically bring out the neck wire and bend it back inside the skull without poking out again from the other side. So right now I'm bending the wire. I pushed it from underneath the skull, went on top, bend it again and with a needle nose plier you push it back into the half hole. And now where that neck is sliding up and down, I'm going to show you how to stop that slide. Fill up that hole from the top of the skull with some crazy glue and spray the activator to crystallize it fast so that wire is not going anywhere. So the neck, you're going to hot glue it, but the trick is when you apply the hot glue on the skull, you wait a little bit. Uh, see there you go it didn't really show what I I'm doing here so anyway you have to let the hot glue get cooled off a little bit because it's just the temperature high temperature of the hot glue that will melt your foam neck so if you let it cool off a little bit not too much and just a little bit so it's not extremely hot it will fuse right into the foam very nice and uh, really glues that foam neck into your cast of the skull with no problem. So here we are at uh, high speed again because um, there was no detail that uh, I could explain here. I'm just uh, sculpting the eyes inside the skull. Now here I'm pulling out uh, paper towels out of the skin. This is a fresh washed and prepped skin ready to mount. Inserting, inserting the neck inside the skin and pulling the skin over the skull. You can see a little bit here that how you gotta slow work it and bring the skin around the skull and pop the skull back inside the skin. So now you gotta bring in the edges of the skin right exactly where they need to be glued with, with super glue. Make sure all the feathers are away so they don't you don't get glue on them and apply with a needle head or syringe or whatever you like. Apply the crazy glue on a, on a line right around the beak where the skin needs to be glued and, uh, and push the skin over it. Just gotta work very precise here. Yeah, 
It's a tedious job. A lot of people don't like it, but I'm used to it and I really enjoy doing it this way. Crazy glue really sets in three to five seconds when you press it really nice and hard. Depends, of course, if your crazy glue is not a gel, because gel crazy glues will set about 15 to 20 seconds, so they're a little bit slower. I like fast stuff. So here I'm carving out a little piece of dowel because I have broken um, wing, wing bones. The first, I think it is the right wing. It's not in the full length. So I basically uh, lengthen that bone, as you can see, I push a small dowel inside that. And I had the pre-measurements from before, so I cut it to length. So on that wing, we are set. I glue it with crazy glue and activator again, so it doesn't go anywhere. And uh, one wing has got a really good size of the bone attached to it. And then I uh, carve up another one for the other side because that side is much slow, uh, smaller and shorter. So I use the first one to match up the second one to it. equal and proper length on the first part of the bone, uh, like the wing bone. Now I poke a hole, I have poked a hole before, just like now, I just reopened that hole because it was getting closed and uh, I clean up around it. The marrow has been pushed out so uh, I re-dry the inside of it. It didn't really show here in the video. I re-dry the inside of the uh, bone with a little bit of pipe, pipe cleaner and I insert my wing wire into that hole and do a little bit of a crazy glue at the, at the opening. Make sure that it doesn't slide in and out. I just like it this way more. Bend it along the wing bone, wrap your thread around it. Electric tape is too strong here and too much, so I stick with the string, the old method. Wrap your strings around it, and again, a little bit of the crazy glue will totally hold everything together. And then we'll move on to the next wing, we do the same thing. Poke a hole. Again, you know, a fine drill bit can work, but it's risky because the bones are quite small and brutal. You can really screw up the bone. So a, a poke with a needle is, is the best. Moving on to the legs, of course your um, leg wires are going to go just like any other bird, they're going to go behind the bone, basically going behind the heels all the way through the palm or the bottom of the feet, you push them out, bend it along the bone and use your string again to wrap it nice. have a small strip of cotton batting here 
it builds up a very nice drumstick. Wrap it nice and put some more string around it. And that'll be your drumstick. Moving on to the next leg. So we'll pull the legs back into the skin. Just make sure it's not twisted. Because when you're working with a wet skin, if you choose to follow this method, it can easily twist around. So you just gotta be careful. 